Sony's got no exclusives. Pal World's got so many players. And Taylor Swift's boyfriend's got a plan for backyards. Let's get into the hot news of gaming, everybody. I'm your Brett host, and it's Friday, d d February 2nd, 2024. And I'm Kyle. The same bit twice. Come on, man. Ugh. And that's how a lot of people feel about Travis Kelsey and his brother Jason because of the whole Taylor Swift thing, but they might become the owners of the Backyard Sports franchise of games if they have their way. During the latest episode of the Brothers New Heights podcast, both Travis and Jason mentioned interest in getting backyard football and baseball back up and running. Jason mm -hmm. said he's been secretly looking into who has the rights to the games to bring it back. Jason won't have to look too hard though, as Atari sold the rights to Tomo Inc. back in 2014 during its bankruptcy auction. Tomo also owns the rights to Humongous Entertainment Entertainment games, which includes the IPs of Pajama, Pajama Sam, Sam, Spy Fox, and Putt Putt that 90s babies grew up on. I don't know any of those games. Fun fact. Yes. I'm interjecting. Okay. Fun fact a friend of mine just came over to visit and she said that her fiance just found an old Putt Putt, the Putt Putt car, whatever he was. <laughs> he was a car. Okay. Putt Putt. He had a little stuffed animal of him that he found in his parents' house. He sold it on eBay for $200. Oh it was my a collector's goodness. item. Okay. I freaking love Pajama Sam. That's good. I'm glad for you. And I will say I've never played a backyard game. I've played NFL Street, and I remember having tons of fun with that as a Very kid. different. Really? I think. Is it? You let us know. <laughs> but we're not sure how much money the Kelsey's would need to buy the rights, but Jason has earned at least $81 million from his time in the NFL, so maybe it's possible. He has at least one more dollar than me. At least. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fair. But what isn't possible is your ability to download Devil May Cry 3 or 4 on Steam. Why? Capcom requested that Steam retire the game from the storefront. What the frick? Though no one is sure why. You can still buy DMC 4 and the special edition of DMC 3 in the HD collection. However, sites like Green Man Gaming and the Humble Storefront have keys available. The delisted games follow another recently delisted game in Spec Ops The Line, which was removed because of expiring licenses. Mm. According to its publisher, 2K Games, you'll have to act fast to get those keys though, since they won't last long. Very short lifespan there. But everyone's nostalgic love for Guitar Hero Rock Band will last forever, obviously. I'm gonna live forever. As there is now a brand new guitar peripheral that's coming out soon. Releasing this spring is the PDP Riffmaster. This guitar controller comes with a collapsible ambidextrous design, an audio jack, 36 hours of battery life, and a thumbstick on the neck of the device. <laughs> doesn't control them. Uh, the pick guard is also swappable, likely for customized versions in the future. And while you won't be able to use this for Guitar Hero, at least until modders get a hold of it, the Rift Master will be available for both PlayStation, Xbox consoles, and is compatible with Rock Band 4 and Fortnite Festival. Dude, that's no joke. Don't laugh at that. I don't know anything about it. Fortnite Fe it's literally the, the people who made Guitar Hero made, or Rock Band, somebody, they made Fortnite Festival. It is just Guitar Hero in Fortnite. Okay, I rescind my... <laughs> but if you're a real gamer, the script insults them, yeah. you can pair either version with a PC. Or at least that's what the box says if you zoom in real close on the PlayStation box. Harmonix, who made both Rock Band and Fortnite Festival, we just need to read a little bit more, <laughs> will release an update for Fortnite Festival so players can use the controller. PDP hasn't revealed a price for this controller yet, but we'll keep you posted once we know. Now, what I'm sure that you probably know is that people are gonna use that guitar controller yeah. for Dark Souls. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But I bet you didn't know I got you all these deals. I don't think I'm allowed to know your got Your first deal that feels like is HR the Microsoft violation. Lunar Sale that can give you Death Looped for $12, Halo Master Chief Collection for $10, and Fallout 4 for seven bonerinos. These discounts also apply to the Arcane Bundle, which gives you both Dishonored 1 and 2, your favorite games, and Prey for $25, and the Ori Collection, and that'll net you both games for 14 bones. Just get Game Pass. Steam also has a sale for its Wolfenstein bundle, which gives you all of the modern Wolfenstein games for $15. Next up is Humble Bundle with its controllered chaos bundle that gives you Maneater, Sunset Overdrive, and Destroy All Humans for 14 Guess 
bonerinos. Dollars this time. Humble also has their Souls Like These bundle, which you can pay $15 for to get Remnant from the Ashes, Strayed Lights, and Clash Artifacts of Chaos. Mm -mm -mm. Both of these bundles will last for most of the month, so there's no reason to rush for these no, unless I, you want now, to run. Now, you get might them just now. Want to run. If you don't get them now, you'll never get them. You're such a, a procrastinating person. You, right, it's well, better yeah. if you just do it now. Calm just, down, calm down, because our last deals sorry. come from the PlayStation Store and Green Man Gaming. On PlayStation, you can get Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It takes two, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and many others for less than $20. Each, right? Each. But if you've been waiting to try out PlayStation games on PC, Green Man Gaming also has a PlayStation Studios sale that has Horizon Zero Dawn and Days Gone for 12 bucks a piece in God of War for 25 worth. PlayStation sale will last until the beginning of March, while Green Man Gaming's deal will only last until next Thursday. Tuesday. Thursday, February 6th. Get it now. Don't procrastinate. Buy all the things. But now that January is over, we can look forward to what games are coming out this month. Thankfully, it's not as stacked as last year, but there are a few to keep you busy when you're not being a menace in Power World. First is Persona 3 Reload, which launches today. It's today. It comes out this very day. Wow. Next Game I won't play. I'm still <laughs> Next is Square Enix's Foam Stars, which you can get for free with a PS Plus subscription on February 6th. And then two days later, Helldivers 2 will be released on PS5 and PC on February 8th. And Don't Nod's Banisher's Ghost of New Eden will be released the following week on February 13th. That's a simple title for a game. It's, it rolls right off my tongue. You'll be able to buy Tomb Raiders 1 through 3 remastered for your Valentine on <gasps> February 14th. That's your anniversary here. Wow. And Skull and Bones is finally released from Development Hell on February 16th. I'm calling it now, it won't. No, I refuse. I don't care. It's not happening. Then there's the game Kyler's look, been looking forward to with Pacific Drive launching on PS5 and PC on February 22nd. And then there's the biggest release of the month. We're launching Rare Brew Coffee Company on February 29th, Whoa. which is Rare Disease Day, which also, as Catelyn, I'm sure, is screaming at her editing monitor right now, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will be launching on that day as well. I'm very excited for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I, I've been replaying it on my Steam Deck. Uh, Steam Deck? Yeah, the remake on my Steam Deck, just because I want to remember everything. And I still haven't done the Integrated DLC. I still have never played it, so I you, you don't know what I'm I know talking. nothing I, about I, any of this. Don't worry, it's fine. But you, you know what you do know about? I do know about Power World's unprecedented success as it keeps going on. And Whoa. reports from Microsoft say the game has over 19 million players <laughs> between Steam and Xbox. <laughs> that is so many! Game Pass and Xbox players account for about 7 million players, while the remaining 12 all come from Steam. <laughs> My good. Pal World currently holds the record for the second highest concurrent player count on Steam, but Microsoft claims it is now the largest third party launch on Game Pass. I, like, I was interested in it. I had no idea. I had it would no be clue. this much of a. It's like Pokemon Go all over again. Yeah, it, if I knew, I would have played it as much as I did, I would have actually bought it on Steam. I'm playing it on Game Pass and it's free on Game Pass. The fact that more people have purchased it on Steam this is crazy. But according to the company, nearly 3 million people have played the Xbox version of the game. It's on console too? It's on Game Pass. You're playing the Xbox version on PC if you play Game Pass. Oh, I, my brain for some reason does not revert it back to console. I was just like, it's on PC. That's all. I'm pretty sure all of those games are just the Xbox versions ported for. I don't even know where my Xbox is. Uh, I know where our fridge, that's our toaster. That's our. By, there's one by the toaster. I don't use the Series S. Oh, well, I don't know where the Series X is. Who knows? The game's success has prompted Microsoft to help developer Pocket Pair by providing dedicated servers and engineering resources for GPU and memory optimization on the Xbox version. Hey. With this support, they hope it'll speed up its content development and optimizations for future updates. Nice. While Microsoft is excited about the success of PAL World, there is still the looming threat of a Nintendo lawsuit. Boom, boom. I mean, that, that exists was the for us order. too. Yeah. We just have the perpetual looming threat of a Nintendo lawsuit. Everybody does. If you, but we didn't make Charmander in a not, or sorry. You said his name. They're, they know where you live now. We didn't make Electabuzz with gun. Hopefully the ninjas don't need deploying. Oh, well, but imposters are getting ready to be deployed on your TV screens as Inner Sloth has revealed an image from the upcoming Among Us animated show. In the image, <laughs> thank you. 
In the image shared on Instagram, a banner splash with blood reads, we're dead in the OG Maps cafeteria. The show is currently in development at CBS's Titmouse Animation Studio. Huh? Is that right? That's right. <laughs> Which created Big Mouth, okay, that makes a lot of All sense, right. and Star Trek Lower Decks in collaboration with Inner Sloss Dennis, Forrest Willer, Marcus Bromander, and Carl Nicer as the show's executive producers. There is currently no release window or a streaming partner picked, so it may be time until people get wrongly accused on the small screen. Our last story for today is about Sony's state of play finally returning. Woo! It certainly was something. Ah! I fell asleep. We learned that V Rising, Zoneless Zen Zero, and Dave the Diver were coming to PlayStation, with the latter getting a Godzilla collaboration in May. That happened. Hell Divers 2 got more hype with a new trailer, as did the Near Automata like Stellar Blade. It's Near Automata like and a lot more jiggle physics. No. Actually, I don't know if Near no, Automata no. had jiggle physics. If it did, it was way more subtle. Or maybe I didn't watch the previews as close. I don't know, man. I was watching it and I was like, this is this is to the next level. I haven't seen this much movement on human bodies like that since Someone's Fortnite accidentally put the butt jiggles. Did they do that? Yeah, they had to remove and it real quick. And I missed it. Yeah, sorry. Oh. You were too young. They also had trailers for Team Ninja's Rise of the Ronin and Capcom's Dragon's Dogma 2, which looks... Great. We also got some reveals like Until Dawn getting remake for PS5 <laughs> and PC. S stop I'm it. So Please sorry. stop. I'm it. So sorry. <laughs> Sonic X Shadow Generations in a VR Metro game called Metro Awakening VR. Go figure. I mean, it was good because PSVR 2 needs more games. They do. And I find it hard to get excited for PSVR games because who has one? I do. Where? In my room. Interestingly, the founders announced their departure from the company just hours after the Until Dawn reveal. But the biggest news came from Konami and Kojima in an ironic twist. Konami dropped the official reveal trailer for Silent Hill 2, confirming the rumors we talked about not too long ago. But it also shadow dropped a playable teaser called Silent Hill The Short Message. I thought the shadow was the Sonic game. This is different. I'm sorry. Don't which, yell at me. But apparently the short message is a playable teaser like PT for the upcoming Silent Hill F project the company revealed in 2022. Not many people apparently like the writing though. Kojima Productions Death Stranding 2 on the beach ended in the event with an over nine minute reveal trailer. It was a lot. Somehow it looks even crazier than the first one. Kojima also announced a new IP that he describes as an action espionage game titled Fizzent, which may or may not be a spiritual successor to the Metal Gear series. It fizzent. Metal Gear Schmalid. Mm. Kojima said it will use cutting edge technology and transcend barriers between film and video games. And it looks like it'll be made in collaboration with a Sony owned Columbia Pictures. We'll just have to wait and see what he's got in store for us this time though. He did cook on the trailer though. The trailer for Death Stranding 2 looked, got out the guitar and he was. That was wild. <laughs> I mean, and then, it, it and was, then that it lady was, had those hands around her neck that lit went, the cigarette for her. And, up like that. and then it had the 8 FPS little little puppet that he wears on his hip. Yeah, uh, it was like Mimir. He it was felt on his like butt. that a little bit. Yeah, he, it's like Kojima played God of War and was like, I'm going to do that, but different. I like that. That's a good idea. That is mine, though. <laughs> you know what's ours? Comment response. Yeah. Your comments are yeah. ours. Yeah. We got Mick saying, the minute you've already thrown your money before the game is even out is the minute you've already set yourself up for a rush job experience. I disagree because you know what I do? I buy it when the reviews come out. I still buy before launch so that I have it preloaded, but only after reviews. I'll do that sometimes. Or if it's a game where I'm like, I don't care how good or bad it is, I need to play it. Yeah. I, I don't care if the developer screwed this up. It still needs to be in my eyes. Yeah, the days of going to GameStop and like trading in my games and then adding money towards pre-orders, that, that's silly. Mm -hmm. That is just nonsense. But if you know a game is good, and you just want to have it loaded. We got Z Shring saying, Kyler started talking about the Final Fantasy VI remake and all I was thinking about was Final Fantasy VIII. I'm glad Brent, Brett mentioned it as well. You said your name wrong. I did, sorry, <laughs> I misspeak a lot. That's right, Final Fantasy VIII is great. I love it so much. Michael Martin says, never thought I would learn something about human physiology on this channel. I now know where my vocal cords are, thanks. You, you were just doing it too low. You found it really here. high. <laughs> It's like you enjoy that or something. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah it's stuff I think saying Monlike is now a term I will officially be using. Monlike's a good title. Fair. It's easier than Pokemon. And we got Meridian saying, yeah, I don't know why no one linked it to Digimon. That's what I've been saying. That was the first thing I thought of when seeing a character riding a giant critter with guns. 
No doubt they pulled for both. Not interested in it though. I want proper Pokemon on PC, not whatever this is. Yes, I know it'll never happen. Just like Dive VR. Hey, listen. Uh, there's emulators. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, uh, allegedly. Well, no, you have to game. buy in the video game. game. In, a, in video a video game. game, there's emulators. And I am going to video this game later. We'll have more hot news gaming coming back next week on Tuesday. See you then. <laughs> 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 <laughs>